The economy of Iran is a mixed economy with a large part going to the public sector. It is the world's 18th largest economy when it comes to purchasing power parity. About 60% of it is the centrally planned economy. A large part of the economy is formed by oil and gas production, and with about 10% of the world's confirmed oil reserves and 15% of the gas reserves, Iran is largely regarded as an energy superpower. Iran's economy is categorized by agriculture and services, hydrocarbon sector, and a clear state presence in manufacturing and financial services. Freedom Score In 2018, Iran's economic freedom score has been 50.9, and it has been ranked at 156 as the freest economy. Its complete score has improved by 0.4 points, with nice improvements in financial freedom, labor freedom, and government reliability compensating lower scores for the fiscal state, government expenditure, and judicial effectiveness indicators. Iran has been placed on 13th position among 14 countries of the Middle East and North Africa region, and its overall score is lower than the regional and world average scores. Background Information Before 1979, the economy of Iran was one of the most forward-thinking economies in the Middle East. However, from then on, it has been beleaguered by maladministration, international sanctions, political corruption, and regional strains. The oppressive Islamic government is controlled by Shiite religious establishments. An uninfluential president is chosen for a term of four years through a process which is controlled by the clerics with hardline approach clerks. President Hassan Rouhani was re-elected in 2017. Since then, he has tried to navigate a realistic and less quarrelsome route. However, the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, is continually endorsing radical strategies. Iran owns the world's second-largest natural gas reserve and fourth-largest crude oil reserves. Rule of Law Even though Iranians have the allowed to own the property and establish their private business, the government has a very overriding role in the economy and can actually take away the property. The judicial system of Iran is not self-governing, and it is used to silence the criticizers and members of the opposition party. Corruption is prevalent at all levels of the government administration. The hard line on clerical organizations and their tax-exempted fundamentals are never examined. Tax and GDP The rate for personal income tax is 35%. The rate of corporate tax is 25% and all property transfers are bound by a standard tax. The total tax burden is 7.1% of total domestic revenue. In the last three years, government spending has reached the figure of 17.2% of the total gross domestic product GDP, and budget deficits have been more or less 1.9% of total GDP. Public debt is about 35% of the economy's GDP. The combined value of exports and imports is 39% of GDP. Governing Efficiency The Iranian government holds direct ownership of hundreds of public enterprises and have indirect control over several companies, which ultimately restricts the capacity of private sector companies to participate in the competition. In addition, labor regulations are constricting and the labor market remains stationary. The government has retained economically damaging price controls and subsidies ever since the Islamic Revolution instigated. Several government controls limit the access to financing for businesses and government also controls credit allocation.